Hey there, Lickin' Riffers! Welcome back to yet another awesome guitar lesson here on Lickin' Riff in which I would like to help you enhance your offbeat picking skills using this little awesome noodling riff. Pay attention, all the notes are in offbeat. <laughs> are an offbeat and we keep picking the bass all the time. So this is a really good chop builder as well as an offbeat trainer. So what's going on here? First of all, we're palm muting the E bass string, okay, all the time. And while we're playing this, we're gonna be playing five and seven on strings A and D. Okay, five and seven. We're gonna be playing them in the off beat. Okay, you can play them whenever you want. Okay, but it has to be on the upstroke because then you're gonna be playing the E bass again, palm muted. So it's gonna sound something like this. Okay, you're gonna want to start with wide spaces between the five and seven. Start with the A string, then go to the D string. And you're gonna want to lift the palm mute when you play the five and seven. Now, when you feel comfortable with this, try to tighten the space between the five and the seven. Okay, until you can play five and seven with just one E bass string in between. I want you to start noodling around with five and seven, okay? Play it randomly. Okay, you can repeat a note, okay? Nobody says you can't. You can do anything you like. Um, as long as it's always on the up beat, okay? The up stroke, the off beat. Now, um, after you're completely, completely comfortable with this, add four on both strings. So you add, so you can have more melody. Okay, that's the purpose of the fourth fret, just more melody. Um, four and five, okay, instead of five and seven. Combine everything together, okay? Four, five, and seven. The last step is adding the slaps. Adding the slaps on each third beat. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's uh, a matter of feeling. You need to feel the beat. So don't worry if you can't slap, okay? If, if the slapping feels awkward at first. Just make sure that you're completely, completely comfortable with playing this randomly and just noodling around, okay? With with four, five, and seven on both A and D strings. 
while keeping the E bass going, okay? And then add the slaps, okay? give it a little bit of flavor. I, I haven't noticed up till now that I was doing this. And you can slide, you can start pulling off, you can, you can add to it, right? The exercise, the, the basic riff is just for for exercise purposes and then you can just play uh, play this to your heart's content uh remember the time that i used to say this in every lesson play this to your heart con to your heart's content uh brings back memories so play this to your heart's content and i will see you the next lesson thank you very much for watching bye for now